Please stand for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Wasatch, my name is Simon Johnson, and I'm one of your 7th grade reps. And my name is Cameron Cox, another one of your 7th grade reps. Wasatch will be hosting our annual STEM Fair on January 10th, 2022, this year. This event is open to all grade levels. Your science teachers will be holding an informational meeting this Friday after school in Ms. Thompson's room 217. If you are interested in learning more about the STEM Fair, please join us on Friday. Come ready with ideas for potential projects. Guys, next week is Spirit Week. Prepare to have fun and lots of school spirit. Monday, Monday is Maniac Monday. Dress up like a mad scientist or another crazy person. While, of course, following the dress code. We'll have a gross mystery taste guessing game at lunchtime. And now for a couple of student-made PSAs. Hey, you okay? Did you speak well? I'll drag him. Ever feel tired and not motivated to do anything, or you just can't pay attention in class? Well, these could all be signs of your brain screaming for sleep. Your sleep is very important for you because it can affect your mental health and your attention span. This can affect the way you participate in extra activities, such as sports or even chess. Our studies have shown that most kids in our school got a solid eight to nine hours of sleep each night. That is great, but what about the other half? From my own experience, most kids our age don't get enough sleep because of last minute assignments. This is not a healthy habit. You should level your homework and spread it out through the week using a planner or an online app to help you so you aren't staying up late to finish work. Another reason why kids our age aren't getting enough sleep is because of technology and having phones in our rooms. The blue light on your phone can affect your body's ability to prepare you for sleep and block your body's form of melatonin, which makes you sleepy. So I recommend charging any device outside of your room and put down screens an hour before you get ready for bed. Now let's think about what a good amount of sleep does for you in a day. By getting a good amount of sleep, it can improve your mood a lot and can decrease the chances of you being stressed. It can also help your attention span last way longer so that you can be productive and get things done. So, so get good sleep, sleep and come to school in a good mood. good mood! Now it's time for Deep Thought Thursday. Did you ever realize that humans cut down birdhouses to make more birdhouses? If two mind readers are reading each other's minds, whose minds are they really reading? How can you replicate the feeling of falling from high up in a nightmare if you've never fallen like that before? Have a Thanks for being here. Have a theoretical Thursday, Wasatch. How can you replicate? How can you replicate? How can you replicate?